Hello everyone. So today I wanted to share uh, my GitHub repository where I have been uh, keeping a list of uh, all the shell scripts that I am trying to show you. And uh, if you look at this uh, GitHub repository, I am basically uh, sharing all the scripts that will help you to interact with Jira and of course to uh, to get the most out of your Jira instance when it comes to uh, doing things programmatically. And uh, if you have been watching my uh, videos, my past couple of videos, I have talked about uh, things that you can do with uh, Jira using uh, nothing but a shell script. And I of course uh, do these things, uh, I use these things uh, for my own problem solving because I work on Jira quite a lot. I guess that is not really a surprise but uh, I of course wanted to uh, create the uh, videos talking about how I solve my problems and uh, if you look at my past few videos I try to give you ideas. I, I don't really talk about uh, things that you can do with Jira using a REST API like uh, create an issue or uh, do this or do that. I have covered it already in my Mastering Jira REST API video series and I think I have covered enough that will uh, give you a uh, lot of information in case you want to get started. But when it comes to when it comes to to uh, doing those things without uh, using a, let us say even a talent API tester or postman uh, with nothing but uh, curl command or maybe a very simple shell script. I, I think in this case you don't really have a dependency on uh, too many uh, utilities, too many tools and uh, and if you look at those curl commands, for example if I show you my uh, one of my uh, shell script when I'm trying to do something with, uh, uh, with Jira uh, and in this case I'm basically trying to pass the uh, JQL. Now this particular example, if you if you uh, look at this particular shell script, what I what I'm using this script for is to send notifications, desktop notifications, and 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 the good thing is that you are not really going to use uh, any uh, other library apart from maybe JQ or Cut, uh, and and apart from that, I I don't think uh, I will be using uh, using. Uh, I'll try to not to use any other uh, applications to solve this problem. So if you're using, let us say, Linux or Mac, I think if you're, even if you're using Windows uh, with Linux subsystem, you should be able to use these uh, scripts. And the objective is uh, definitely to, uh, number one objective is to definitely learn. Learning is very, very important because when you learn how to do these things, you can then, then maybe modify these scripts and uh, maybe adapt them or... Uh, change them based on uh, your requirement but the idea here is to also solve your day-to-day uh, -day problems um, if you are doing something with Jira maybe maybe you are responsible for integrating Jira to any other tool and if you know how to interact with Jira if you can quickly you know copy this curl command and paste it and you can prove that okay this works now let me uh, add uh, uh, additional code to uh, solve my actual requirements the problems that you have to solve then uh, then i think uh, uh, the the purpose of uh, of these scripts will be uh, will be uh, fulfilled uh, because uh, that is why that is what i am trying to do here and at the end of the day i think it's all about uh, also enjoying these things i quite enjoy interacting with uh, Jira um, programmatically. Of course, uh, if you follow my channel, I have videos on Groovy and I use Script Runner and I have talked about how to interact with Jira using nothing but automation rules. But when you have uh, these shell scripts or simple curl commands, you are not really uh, dependent on any other language or tool. You can do it from your terminal. And, uh, and when you can do it very quickly, when you have like access to let us say different things that you can do with Jira, I think good thing about uh, shell scripts or maybe 
uh, these curl commands uh, is that you can actually connect these two things together. For example, maybe someone is asking you to uh, get a list of projects and maybe send a notification, or maybe you are trying to uh, you are trying to add the work log automatically. Like in this particular case, I made a video on this topic. Uh, maybe you are responsible for uh, for uh, I mean I think if you work on Jira, most likely in most cases people have to submit their timesheets, which is a bit of a pain, but you, but we have to do it. Uh, and and this script will help you do that. So once you know how to do it, uh, of course you can definitely use it for solving your own problems. But uh, you can also take a look at this endpoint which is used in this particular script, and maybe you can uh, also modify the m modify the shell script to do something similar. Maybe connect these two scripts. Uh, maybe add the maybe first pass the JQL and then uh, add uh, your your time log because the way I am doing it right now is uh, within the shell script. I am basically using this uh, Jira issues .csv, and this particular file will contain uh, three things: issue key, time, and uh, the and uh, I mean issue key, time log, and the date. So based on that, I am of course uh, logging the time. But you can also read it from maybe maybe you can call the pass JQL first. So basically, you don't have to maintain this file. You can get the list of issues that are respons that you're responsible for uh, from this particular uh, script, and then do something similar. So when I make more videos, I I'll probably share. Definitely, I'll share uh, whenever I get time. I'll share a few additional scripts, and I'll of course uh, uh, update this repository. And I also have to make sure that uh, this repository has uh, uh, has instructions to help you in case you want to uh, simply copy and paste them and start using them so I, I can probably talk about it so basically what you need to do you need to if you look at one any of the script let us say parse jql you will find uh, this uh, jira tutorial underscore auth which is like I, i'm trying to basically create the way i'm doing it is i'm using this environment variable and in that case i don't have to like modify this modify this particular uh, any of these uh, scripts with the auth key and uh, as long as you have this uh, auth key it's not really an auth key it is basically a token then you have to of course uh, um, base 64 encoded and when you base 64 encoded you have to use your email address along with uh, your token that you need to generate and i have talked about this by the way like how to do it in this video uh, and uh, in case you want to learn everything about uh, REST API, Jira REST API, and you just want to learn about different endpoints, I have uh, the series of videos which will help you. Like for example, let us say you want to, like if you look at this particular list, uh, I'm talking about how to create an issue, how to edit an issue, how, how to find a user, how to pass and validate JQL, and so many things. And if you look at the shell scripts, of course that that is the base i mean once you know the right endpoint that you need to use i mean of course you can refer to the official jira rest api documentation but uh, in this particular uh, series of videos i'm talking about uh, I, i'm also talking about uh, examples like i i'm showing you how to do it so uh, i thought i'll probably uh, talk about these things because uh, in case you are trying to not only learn Jira, but you're you're maybe responsible for doing wonderful things with Jira. It is part of your job, or maybe you want to learn more, or maybe you want to add a bit more to your skill set. Then, uh, uh, then I think uh, these things will really help. Will really be helpful because knowing Jira administration is definitely important. Like that is step number one. But uh, when you know how to also in integrate Jira with other tools using these different uh, tricks. Or tools or skills or whatever you want to call it uh, then I think it will really uh, be beneficial and and I thought I'll probably uh, also of course uh, uh, I'll not be making a video on uh, each and every rest endpoint but I'll I'll try to give you examples uh, that you can hopefully relate to for example usually people are responsible for fetching the list of issues in Jira and dump it to a CSV file so you can do that when you know how to parse the jql 
uh, I mean, when you know how to search for the issues and when you get the issues, you can then, then of course, uh, parse different uh, fields that you or, 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 the J, or the JSON response that you get. And I'm us using this utility called JQ, which I will probably mention in the uh, dependency part. I mean, I am definitely using a couple of dependencies uh, because I think these are like command line utilities and they are really, really simple and straightforward ut utilities and I don't think installing them should be a problem uh, which I will mention here in the uh, readme file so in case you want to like use the script make sure you have a, at least jq and cut so far if I I'll try not to use too many too many other other utilities or applications as a dependency so that is all I wanted to share in this video. I basically wanted to share this uh, GitHub repository. I will of course uh, give you the URL in the description, so you can also so you can also refer to it in case you want to, in case you think this can be useful. So that is all I wanted to talk about today. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.